Okay, this morning we are going to look at one more translating words into symbols. So we're going to make five columns for me. And we want to put all the different words we can think of that might fit those different things. Like for instance, we know this is the sign, or we could say add, but give me some other words that could mean adding. Plus. In addition to. Yeah, let me sell that addition. Uh, what's the answer we get when we add? Yeah. The sum, we could say increased by, or we could say, what's another word for increasing, going up, getting bigger, more than. So those are some, there's all, I mean, obviously going to be some more you could let across, but what's this bar here? What does it mean? Subtraction minus taken away from taken away or take away difference. difference. Less than. Oops. Did not spell that right. right. Less than in this, it's not less than like that. It's less than like two less than six. And let's think about that one. If I said, what's two less than six, what, should, what is that? That equals four. But do we write it as two minus six? Yeah. No. So we, anytime it's less than, we have to switch the order. So I'm going to write that. Switch the order. So if I said two less than six, I'm going to write that one out. Two less then six. Obviously, that's four, but we would then switch the order. So you have to switch the order. And then besides increased by, we can go decreased. So now x needs to multiply, multiplication times. What's the answer we get? Three. Product. Product. Thank you. Sometimes you'll see it like written as twice a number. You see twice a number. What's that mean? Times, Times it by two. You could say along those same lines. It could say doubled. Okay. Triple, quadruple, I mean, obviously you're multiplying by that number. Then. All right, so we have division, divide. What's the answer we get? It's the quotient. quotient. If you see something like half, if it says half, what do we do? Divide by two. If they say a fourth of something, we divide by four. So on and so forth. Hey, we know for sure this is equals. Sometimes you'll see that, but more often than not, what two letter word will we see? Is. Okay. So two plus four is six. That's the one you most often. All right. So let's do a few of these. What they're doing today is they're going to give you a sentence or give you words and say put it in to. Symbols. So I'm even going to change it more. They put the number, but let's put three less than half x. So that part right there, less than, what did we say needed to happen with our two parts then? Switch the order. So this is going to become first. So how would we write half x? We could do it two ways. We could write one half x, or we could write x over two. And they both give you the same thing. What does less than mean? Subtract, and then three is three. So these two are exactly the same value. So you could, as we get further and further, you can either write fractions out in front, or you can put it if it's just the denom or numerator of one, just put it over the denominator. Your choice. Okay, example two, let's read that one together. It says the length of a board 
is L. And it says the length of the board is seven centimeters shorter. Is L minus seven because shorter. It's not a word we wrote down, but shorter means it's less. So we cut some off. We're going to take away seven. So if it's six centimeters longer, how would we write it? If it's six centimeters longer than this one. It's longer, so we're going to have more. So we're going to add on to six. Okay. So I'm not going to write all the formulas down. Some of them you already know. Already. How do we find area? Length times width. Perimeter, you add up all the sides. And they have these formulas right there on 15 if you need to put them into your problem. So distance, rate times time, so on and so forth. What I would recommend, number three, it says find the area and perimeter of a with length 10 and width W. They didn't do this, but I like to draw pictures so that geometric shape. So you have a length of 10 with a W. They want us to find the area and the perimeter. So area, what is our length? 10 times our width. So that would be 10 W. Now our perimeter, we have two lengths plus two W's. What's our length? 10. 10. And our width is still W, so 20 plus 2W is our perimeter. The reason I like to draw pictures is to me it's easier than reading the words. It's easier to decipher what is what. You can just immediately look at it and you've got what goes where. Okay. Example four says you and your friends buy two pizzas. Two pizzas. They're fifty dollars each. Over salads at S dollars. How much do you and your friends spend? How much did you spend on pizzas? Each one is P dollars. So how many did we spend on pizzas total? So 2P. Salads were S. We bought four of them, so four S. After we found out how much we spent total. Adding them together. Technically, I guess that's another word we should put under addition total. You're often found by adding them all up. Right. So the best way to work on these, I'm just going to give you some to start. So on page 16 and 17, the written exercises. Eleven to thirty-nine odd on sixteen and seventeen. So we're gonna skip the simpler ones to be in. They're obviously fairly simple, so we'll jump in at eleven and go to thirty-nine. 